All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right in these challenging times. In these challenging times. Now, today I want to discuss about the total solar eclipse, um, the new moon eclipse. There will be a new moon. Uh, there'll be a total solar eclipse on December fourth at like two o'clock in the morning this this weekend coming up next weekend. And um, the reason why that sticks out to me is because just a few weeks ago, we just had a, a partial lunar eclipse. Um, so now we're going to have a total solar eclipse. And we do have to pay attention to the sun, the moon, and the earth and everything like that. Because Jesus talked about in the end times that there will be signs in the, new, in the moon, the stars, and the heavens, you know. And we have to be watchful of those things, but not be too infatuated with it and be too obsessed with it. But do be watchful, you see what I'm saying, and be aware of the end times that we're in and how we're in latter times and how this is the beginning of the sorrows of the end times, you know. And um, <clears throat> when you pay attention to uh, how fast this world is moving and the type of seasons that we're stepping into and the different types of things that are going on all at once, all these crazy events or whatnot, the sun, the earth, the moon, and the heavens all play a part in it. See, in the spirit realm, each thing plays its own position, like the heavens, the earth, the sun, the moon, they all play their part into affecting the seasons and affecting people's behaviors and affecting people's moods as well. Um, a lot of people don't understand how powerful the moon is, or how powerful the sun is and things like that. Like there's so much radiation and light and energy that comes to those things. You feel me? But a lot of people don't understand those type of things from medical, from a metaphysical standpoint, you know, but those things do affect your mood, your emotions um, and what have you. And with a total solar eclipse, that always changes things from top down. It always affects the land, the water. And all types of different things. And with the way this world is going and the pace that it's going into, um, things are running rampant. Things are getting more intense and more heavy than ever. And when this solar eclipse hits this weekend, um, things are going to hit much harder from now on. As far as the issues going on in America, the issues going on in the world, uh, the violence, the crimes, um, Devastating events, catastrophe, sickness, famine, pestilence, um, nation against nation, wars in different countries. Those things are going to intense. They're going to go intense even harder now because of the times that we're in. And also because of these different moon and these moon phases and moon cycles and these eclipses affected as well. Um, so this total solar eclipse hitting in December, you know, right as winter is around the corner. Um. It's definitely going to, uh, things are definitely going to run rampant out here, man, because the COVID just increased as well in different parts of the world. So when the solar eclipse hits, man, it's going to affect a lot of people's health and um, it's going to really change a lot of things. Like from now all the way to, say, May or June, you're going to see a lot of intense things from now on, you know what I mean, in the new cycle around your city and your neighborhood, all those different things, because, um, you know, Jesus told us that we're going to find our signs in the heavens and the sun and the moon and the stars, and we have to be aware of that and be watchful of the times that we're in and uh, the direction the society is going. So I just want to touch base on the whole eclipse and how it's all going to affect everything from top down, from a metaphysical standpoint, from a spiritual standpoint, a spirit realm, emotional standpoint, um, and all the events and catastrophes and things going on in the world. Um, the sun, the moon, and the stars, they all play a part in that. A lot of people don't understand that. Because when we're all in this world, we're in this society, we always think that things just happen as they are. But nobody looks deeper to it. Nobody looks beyond the surface of why it actually happens. And the positioning of the moon, the positioning of the sun, um, the heavens being shaken up right now, the battles, the spiritual warfare, the high places, the the heavens, all those things being shaken up and rattled is trickling down in an earthly form. So as all these fallen angels, demons, angels, all types of different celestial bodies, all types of different um, heavenly bodies are all at war and battling with each other, and wrestling with each other in the spirit realm. 
it's trickling down in a in a carnal form. It's it's trickling down in a, in a physical sense. That's why things are so crazy right now. So, just want to touch base on that a little bit and just go from there. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized. You start your life over for the Lord. I pray that your life gets better and you get new beginnings. And I pray that you stay strong in these times that we're in, all right? I know it's hard, but just keep pressing on. Stay strong and solid and stay prayed up. I got much love for you. Peace.